everyone, it's Matt from Denim and Leather and I'm here with David from the Outlaw Orchestra. How are you? Which part of Scotland are you from? Aberdeen. Aberdeen? That's over on the, um, that side? Yeah. <laughs> How's that in winter? Cold. <laughs> What's the difference then between Aberdeen lot and Edinburgh? Just different lots. Just different are they like posh? Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> Yeah. How did you enjoy your set? <laughs> I loved it. It's great. Um, our bass player wasn't with us today. Um, he unfortunately is on a beach somewhere in Spain. He could have been here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was great. It was a little bit of extra work because I had to cover the bass guitar as well as guitar as well as sing, do the drums and the lap steel and banjo. But I brought Ryan and Pete along to help me out. So the Outlaw Orchestra setup is a little bit unusual. So what can people expect to see when they come to a show? We started off as a bluegrass band, acoustically. We were a bluegrass band, banjo, lap steel, small drum kit and a Doug Rose guitar. Um, and then one day I plugged in my electric guitar and I need to be louder than everybody else. And Ryan said, I need my drum kit to be as loud as Dave. And Pete said, I've got an electric banjo and then we got louder and louder and then the rock world embraced us. So to be on rock stages and have a stand-up double bass, I'm going to mind this, that's a double bass, I'm not tickling a macaque. Um, so that's a stand-up double bass, Pete plays a lap steel, which is like that, it's like a guitar laid down. You'll see them in Nashville. I play guitar <laughs> and what else have we got? Banjo. So they're not traditional rock instruments but we play them through Marshalls and so you kind of get bluegrass, a little bit of country and hard rock. We're starting on an album in a couple of weeks. Uh, the EP is nothing more than just to see if people like you and 